Weekly on Wink Club. So yeah, here yeah, we are again. The pixies are being held up there. Daring adventure in impractical clothes. Yeah. And the loincloth solves absolutely nothing. No seriously, why is she in a loincloth? Because sexy time! First the barrier, then that paladin appears out of nowhere, saves us from the witches, and then takes off without telling us his name? Yep, that was also awesome. I'm sorry, I don't speak Greek. Radio Althea and tell Miss Baragonda we're coming home. But yeah, this is Eric Cobra. And we're first saying this now because we want to talk about the flashback. Yeah. Because it is actually kind of funny in Denmark where I live, they, they ran, first ran the episode from last week and then the new one. So it's like, our viewers clearly can't have know what they saw just five minutes ago before the great TV commercial. Yeah. So this is Let's Watch Wings Club Season 2, Episode 7? Yep, 7, Blind. Blind. And I cannot remember what this one is about. It's something about a dark tower, and that's about it. Yeah. Why do they get to be in the intro? They're not half as awesome as the car. I'm not keep bringing it up, but seriously. Because then, most of the seasons. Uh. Crispy car away! We'll come back to Krabby Tree to the school. Oh yeah, this. They must be really loud if they can be, they can be heard from all the way up there. Yep. Oh dear, is, is that... Is that actual Pixivia? But... Oh my, how adorable! Tecna, this is Digit. Oh. My name is Tina. I am the Pixie of Manners. I love your hairstyle. And they're all brainwashed! Uh, thanks, it's like my... Wings Club! So it's really good if you're into brainwashing. You know what his name is yeah, so in the other one, they actually said that Digit and Tecna knew each other. Yeah, they met on the internet. Anyone before the semester's up. Wanna Ooh. hear about our adventure? <laughs> I know I keep bringing up what he's saying the other one, but... No, no, it's usually enough. But seriously, enough with the creepy brainwashing! Okay, but I have to warn you, it's probably a mess. At least it was when I left, what with Flora's vines and my laundry. Yeah, let's ignore the rabbit. If you want a girl's attention, you gotta play it real cool. Yeah. Alright, take it easy. Just trying to give you a little man-to-man -man advice, but fine, do things your way. What? I wanna do it all the girls do. Yeah, they have you have a jealousy button now. Okay, but what's up with the sudden music video? It followed them home. Huh. You know, like the soundtrack who seems to follow the boys around. That reminds me this whole just Republic reminds me of an advice I heard about baby. I sent Libby to the Pixie. When you get a new baby, make sure and you already have a child, make sure to keep lots of attention. On the child you already have, so it doesn't Chatton feel like that. About this character who calls himself Lord Dargar, I'm gravely concerned that we're up against a most dangerous force. Who? Now then, <gasps> have you ever heard the story of the destruction a magic TV of like that. In a single day, the entire realm was annihilated by a dark force stronger than anything ever seen before. We read about that in class. It was the biggest disaster the magical universe had ever seen. Yes, and it was the direct result of someone tampering with dark forces in the Underrealm. A man named Argelus went there seeking to take control of the Shadowfire, but it was the Shadowfire that ended up taking control of him. When you say the Shadowfire took control of him, do you mean it took him over or something like that? Yes, that's exactly right. For you see, girls, there are certain powers that are so strong that they develop a will of their own, and anyone who tries to control them ends up being controlled by them. Huh. So where did the Shadowfire come from? It's always been there, buried in the heart of the Underrealm, in the Kingdom of Shadowhaunt. That horrible place may be made of rock and stone, but it is very much alive. 
The Shadowfire flows through its halls, waiting for someone foolish enough to come down there, seeking its power. What Layla saw down there may be Ooh. just that. Someone who has merged with this dark force and become twisted and distorted so... and reborn as the Shadow Phoenix. I believe that's who Lord Darkar is. And what Dark is Lord Darkar after? Well... Huh. The Shadowfire seeks magic. only one thing, and that is total control of the universe. So what do the Pixies have to do with all this? They said he was trying to find out the location of their secret village, but I don't Which get why. She I took mean, them what's from. there that a guy like that would want? Yeah, what's important now is that we protect the Pixies and keep them from ever falling into Lord Darkar's hands again. Did you notice how she just sidestepped the question about the Pixie village? Therefore, the Pixies will be staying with us here at our field. Yeah! Thank you, Tekna. We really needed you to highlight that. Well, I don't, don't think, think, think too highly of the audience. To protect whatever's there? No, absolutely not, Layla. Why not, Miss F? From what Lockett told me, it sounds like Lord Darkar let the Pixies escape so he could follow them and learn the location of their village. And as for you, Layla, you're one of the only people who knows where the village is. This puts you in danger. Which is why I would like to ask you to stay here with us at Alfia until this matter is resolved. Oh yes, because Mr. things are so harmless here. Stay with you guys. <laughs> Nothing ever goes wrong at Alfia. Yeah, yes, nothing. Now I don't want any of you girls to be in this matter any further. Is how is she the only one who knows? Believe me, it's for your own safety. I don't know. But hey, at least the good guy showed some, you know, sense and predicted that this is probably a move on the part of the Dark Lord. Yeah, Farron, that's actually pretty smart. Why isn't she in charge? Because she's she old. Was telling me that Theragonda was bugging this morning. Anyone know what this means? Maybe it means she ate cake bugs for breakfast. It's a modern slang word for acting strange. Speaking of strange, what with this storm? It's so powerful and full of darkness. It's frightening me. What did you expect? A storm that spread light? Oh, look. Why is the koala bear with glasses? Because he's nearsighted. That doesn't explain anything! Oh, hey, it's the monolith from 2011. What's it doing there? Was it 2001? Yeah, I think it was 2001. Let me guess that's the paladin. You know what? Tell you personally, I didn't find How that did Lord Darkar dude to be all that scary. What are you talking about? <laughs> Layla's the only one of us who's who else would it be? Oh, yeah. It's the mysterious yeah, stranger. And we already had one mysterious today. stranger. Do you and really I doubt they show we have multiple mysterious Darkar strangers juggling around. What I don't understand is why she won't tell us what Darkar wants with the pixies. And he's probably here he's to spy on the fairies, right? Do you know with the pixies, Layla? Do you know? I have no idea. Hmm. Well, I've got a really bad feeling no about all this. No reason to spy it more than necessary. Yeah, you're not the only one. Oh god, right What's going yeah. on, Livy? Let me guess, the Paladin is in reality the original form whoever went down their head before the dark Shadow Flame took over and became Dark Heart. Awesome. I can't remember that tidbit ever happened. I'm just guessing. Okay, so what's up with the winged hedgehog? It's a fairy pit. There's an incredible dangerous dark lord walking around. Let's go out of the storm. That couldn't Jeez. possibly go wrong. They appeared shortly after the storm began. They? Another has risen in Black Mud Swamp and in Heralyn Wood as well. Palladium and Wizgiz have gone to investigate those with other students. So, uh, what are they? We're not sure. According to the scan, it's not even made of matter. How can that be? It must it's be made of darkness! Of Professor or possibly you pure hair! Professor Ariana's concerned that they may Actually, be designed it's just to made activate and magic. form a kind of static blanket, robbing us all of our wings. Either way, we can't take any chances. You must destroy this thing. Why can't you? Why they go out in this awful storm? I asked Is it just me as we're prop jumping forward really, really, really fast right now? Don't worry, you, you'll get an explanation later. Where did the storm go? The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Stop. Would you stop this thing, please, Joe? Is 
Looks like it's just jumping back and Well, actually it's just jumping forward. Breathe, please, Joe! Wait, isn't Bloom the only one who has more special powers than the others? Well, apparently a deep power of Celeria in collection of the mansion with all the people with the what Rhino is instead of staff. Okay, so that's two of them that had special unique magic. What about the others? Well, no. They're just ordinary. Yeah. Then why couldn't Farrah Gunther give it a try? What makes these girls so special? That thing's way tougher than it looks. Layla, Techno, let's go! Why didn't you all just respond at once? We are the wings, we are the wings. I don't know! I also hate their bad outfits. Well, Technus is at least a bit, you know, original compared to the others. Oh, look! Who is wearing shorts underneath a skirt? Nice. No, I'm pretty sure it's Dark Hearts! The cast! Sorry! It's beginning to become a running gag! It's not even intentional! Uh, well, now for something completely different. Ooh la la! I guess that's the reaction that we're going for. Seriously, they're marketing it for girls, but sometimes it just feels like they're catering to boys! Something's not right. Bloom hasn't answered her phone all night, and we had a phone date scheduled three hours ago. Ah, uh, what now? Dude, she's probably just out with some a other guy. This is a phone date? Here. I don't is it like when we talk on Skype? Yeah. Ah. But more expensive. Yeah, because royalty. Yes, because since it didn't work the first 90 times, it must work the next time. Try a different strategy! She can, she hasn't learned the trick yet. Nice. And she's done for. Oh no! Why the dramatic music? She punched her head against the wall and so she fell over. That doesn't warn the dramatic music. That warns her. Wah, wah, wah. Don't be afraid to commit to a choice. No one here will judge you. I mean, not too much anyway. Hmm? I'm with Flora. We need to go find Bloom and get her to come back inside. She won't. Wait, you just abandoned Bloom up there? Yep. When, when did they do that? Oh, that's great. Jump cut. I thought I'd be uh, Establish shit. Please. But trionic lightning is unnatural for this realm. So what's it doing here? Oh, so somebody created the storm so it could be more dramatic. Ah, who could that possibly be? I think it's over. No one ordered a pizza, did they? Why does he come to the apartment? Because he knew that. Now they just jump cut! Yep, next day! The powerful storm last night was the work of a master wizard. Someone some of you may have met before. Hmm. It's that awesome paladin that saved us from the witches! Thank you! To introduce our newest Hive Mind! Who comes to us from the esteemed Malakoy Palladian Academy, Professor Avalon. Mm. Oh. Why do my toes feel kind of tingly? Flora wants to know why your toes feel kind of tingly. For the same reason yours and mine do. He will now destroy the obelisk. Whoa! Why does <gasps> And why is this a presentation of the whole school? Cotillion. Because Palladium and Whiskers took the, took the others and Whiskers took the other stones. Ah! Wait, this was a jump from the students? Yep. How did you do that? You young students have yet to discover what I call your true genial power. Huh? But once you do, 
Your wings will grow and you will be able to control magical energy. Like the kind that composed those dark towers. So where did the dark towers come from? Yeah! Professor Avalon created them so that he could absorb your power in action and evaluate each of your skills. Um, I have a question, Miss Farragonda. What's the name of the class Professor Avalon is teaching and how many students will be smitten? I, I mean admitted. Only 20 students will be allowed in. So... It's a master workshop and as such will require a great commitment. It's I've a, made some recommendations, but it's Professor a class Avalon in which you learn to do spells so rather than just in the throw class, raw magic around. Speak up. Huh. I'm interested. I'm interested. So wait, this guy started an entire storm and created three magic dragon obelisks. And nobody knew about it. But it was okay he did it. Or what? He did it to test it. And Farrakhan was in on that. Yep. Your family in into your origin, I think so that the dark magic first the actress and she created Yeah, well, I don't obelisks. get it. It's like learning huh. how to talk to your ancestors. It's about finding them. What was the yourself? point of that? What if you don't know about Showing your how origin? Can you still learn this thing? It might take some extra Again, this smells of the car. Because that's just so over dramatic. I'm and glad you made it here safely. Yes. I believe Lord Darkar is someone who seeks to enter the realm of Relix, and his hunt for the Codex, which would allow him to enter the portal, is what led him to your village. But as you know, there is another way to enter Relix. Darkar must never learn of this way. These must remain secret. Oh hey, it's the MacGuffins! Yep. Sky, what are we doing? I just wanna check Wait, so he's also the so guy who interrupted no. all communication well, in the area. Know. Checking up on her. So no, Blue was just out by the obelisk that my sky can control him. Ah. Right. No, no. I was pre kind of preoccupied, so I forgot our arrangements. <laughs> why couldn't I? Why, 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 why did they call anyone else? Oh, yes, I forgot. Sky's the master of the most difficult path possible. You gotta be kidding me. You hear that, dude? It sounds like they're having a party. <laughs> oh, look. It's this road. So, he can't get one girl from the school and immediately launches a rescue operation that involves climbing into trees. Yeah, that's Sky, alright. I used them to absorb your magic so that I could analyze it and study you all in detail. You absorbed our magic? What's my report say about me? Hold on! Last time I checked, this was a party, not a classroom, people. Less chit chat, more cha cha! Yes, because this doesn't seem suspicious at all. No, let's just. Wait, what? My origins. All in good time. Wait, how did we get here? Jump cut. Stop doing that! I'm getting whiplash! A little piece? I think that's Bloom! Uh, what were you saying about not being the jealous type? Wait a minute, what's going on here? Who is that guy? Uh. Careful, you don't want to get the magic beeves mad. Just give me a sec. That it, wait, the, huh? what, the yellow head one is Sky, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. He's only ran in the first half of the first season, I think it is. Okay. Most quickly they ain't just read. Yep. Dude, can we please go now? Thanks, Brandon. He's the, he's the sensible one. Yeah, see, that's the thing that this show has a problem with. It jump cuts a lot and doesn't establish the shit. And just have to go, wait, what? Huh? Huh? What? Yeah. Well, this has been Eric Cobra. This has been Lift Watch Wings Club Blind. See you all around.